welcome to the Winterhalter Training Academy. First of all, does your machine look like this? Because if it doesn't, unfortunately you're actually watching the wrong video. However, if it does, what we're actually going to do is show you how to get the machine ready to use, how to use the machine correctly, and then how to drain it, and then how to clean it. Also, throughout the video we're going to give you some great tips on getting the best usage out of the machine. Enjoy the next few minutes. Right, let's look at switching the machine on and starting up. Switch the machine on at the wall isolator. It will look like one of these. Next, ensure all the items are in the correct position, especially the wash filters. Check the upper and lower wash arms are in place. Then, check the detergent and rinse aid containers are full and primed. Do not load any items into the machine at this stage. Make sure the door is closed. Next, press the on button. The red light will come on. The machine will now fill and heat up automatically. When the machine is ready for use, the light will turn green. If you see any other symbols on the control panel, such as a spanner light, please speak with your line manager. Starting the wash program. By default, the machine is set up for a medium wash. If you require a shorter wash, press the plus button, then select the short wash option. If you require a long wash, press the plus button again and then select the long wash option. This is how we load the machine. Load the machine sensibly and do not overlap the items. Make sure you separate the plates and also keep the cutlery in an upright position with the handles facing down. Once this has been done, slide the basket in Start the washing process. Press the main program button. It will turn blue. When the wash program has finished, the button will turn from blue to green. Once the program cycle is finished, remove the wash items and repeat. Through the day cleaning. During the operation, you can remove the filter basket and clean it if necessary and replace it without emptying the machine. Drain down and clean in. The machine is equipped with a self-cleaning program which assists you in cleaning the interior of the machine after use. Remove any racks from the machine. Make sure you leave the filter system in place. Close the door. Next, press the drain down button for around 3 seconds. The button will now flash. Wait until all the lights on the control panel have gone out. The machine will switch itself off automatically when the drain down program is completed. Switch off at the mains isolator. Manual daily cleaning. Once the machine has turned itself off, open the door and remove the wash arms. Check and clear any blockages inside the wash jets. Then Remove the strainer basket and the filter bed ready for cleaning. Next, clean inside the machine, especially around the door area. Clean and rinse the wash arms, the filter bed and the strainer basket. Replace the filter bed, the strainer basket and the wash arms. Close the door and leave it slightly open and you've got a great clean machine. Water softening. If you see the S symbol flashing on the control panel, you will need to add granular salt to the machine. Softening the water is important as this prevents the buildup of lime scale. If not softened, the machine will go white or cloudy inside. This will affect the washing results. For the integral water softener to function correctly, the machine must be filled with granular salt, not tablet or table salt. This is really important. To fill the salt, remove the grey cap inside the machine. Fit the funnel. Pour in the granular salt until the unit is full. Remove the funnel and wipe away any salt spillage from the machine. Replace the grey cap. 
close the door and the whole process is finished. Well, that's it. Thanks ever so much for watching and I hope you found it really interesting. Don't forget there are four major rules. Your first rule is to make sure you put the right chemical inside the machine. Your second rule is make sure you stack your baskets correctly. Your third rule is to make sure you select the right cycle time. Your fourth rule is to make sure your machine is clean at all times. Don't forget, you look after the machine, the machine will look after you. Thanks ever so much for watching the Winter Roller Academy.